Hello, my name is Nathan. You're watching Nice at Dice. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Deck O Dice, an accessory for tabletop gaming. I'll walk you through what this deck is all about and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So the Deco Dice is a deck of cards from Fundamental Games. It's 24 cards, and on the face of these cards you have representations of six different kinds of dice. So you have a four-sided die, a six-sided die, an eight-sided die, a 10, a 12, and a 20. There are notations in the corner next to the die to let you know how many sides that die has, uh, just so there's no co confusion there, and you have a number representing the value of the die. As you can see, if you go through the deck, all of these had a value of one, then you go to two, three, four, and then fives on all of them except for the four-sided die, which wraps back around to one. You go up a couple more cards, and you'll see that the six-sided die has wrapped back around while the others are going back up to seven, and so forth. And so in that way, out of these 24 cards, uh, you have the four-sided die go through its values six times. The six-sided die will go through its values four times. The eight-sided die will go three. The 12-sided die will go through twice. The 10-sided die will go through twice with obviously four cards unaccounted for. And the 20-sided die will go through once with four cards unaccounted for. And so those four cards uh, that are unaccounted for on the D10 and the D20 just have an R with an asterisk as its values there. And that just means to re-roll. So basically, if you were using this card to generate a value on a 10-sided die and you happen to draw this card, then you would just draw another card from the deck somewhere else and use that value. So basically what you can do with this deck is you can shuffle it up and then while you're playing a tabletop game such as uh, a role-playing game or something to that effect and you need the value for let's say a 20-sided die maybe you're playing a tabletop game you're making an attack you need to know if your attack hits so you're going to roll a 20-sided die you just draw the top card from the deck and it happened to be a 19 so that's probably a hit with your attack Let's say your attack also does uh, 3d6 damage. So you could just draw the top three cards and you can see that for the six-sided die, we have a value of one, six, and six for 13 damage, if that's what your attack did. And you can just discard those and keep working through the deck as you need to make rolls of any of those types of dice. So that is the Deco Dice from Fundamental Games. It's a pretty interesting little accessory. Uh, part of the pitch for this accessory is that it is convenient. You have basically six types of dice and a single deck of cards, so you don't need to carry out around a bunch of dice with you. Um, I feel like it's not terribly inconvenient to carry around a few different dice for the sorts of games that would use dice like this. So I don't know that the convenience factor is a big deal for me. Although, however, I will say that uh, there are some games that require large numbers of a certain type of die. For example, uh, there's a role-playing system that uses a pool of 10-sided dice, and you may, on a typical roll, be rolling as many as like seven 10-sided dice. So rather than having uh, seven 10-sided dice on hand for a roll like that, you could simply uh, shuffle up this deck and draw 10 cards off the top and you've got 10 results for a 10-sided die. So it is a little bit convenient in that respect, um, but I wouldn't say that convenience is the primary value of this, of this deck of cards. Uh, I think probably the most interesting and useful thing about this for me personally is that this gives you an even spread of values uh, for each uh, type of die. And so if you have played uh, role playing tabletop role playing games like I have, you've probably had experiences where on a given night you continually get low values on your roll, or even you continually get high values on your roll. And either way, I mean, most of us aren't going to complain about a lot of high values if it's the sort of game where you want to get high values. But uh, still, it can feel a little uh, like off balance. You're either getting a lot of good rolls or a lot of bad rolls. 
Using something like this to generate your rolls means that you're going to see a fairly even spread of all the possible values on your dice. So I think that's an interesting feature of an accessory like this. Now, it does also mean that you can sort of count your cards, so to speak, and you can, uh, for example, since the 20-sided the die only has each value represented once in this deck of cards, it means once you've drawn the, the 20, the 19, the 18, then you know you're never going to get a result better than 17, for example. Uh, if you've already drawn the 1 and the 2 and the 3, then you know uh, the rest of your rolls are going to be better than that. So there is that aspect that it kind of takes some of the, the true randomness out of that uh, die roll, and that could be viewed as a negative thing for some people. I guess what I would maybe suggest as a counter to that is to just make it a habit that you you shuffle the game at the you shuffle the deck at the beginning of the game, you work through the deck, and if you ever get to about halfway, you know, through the deck, you just shuffle it again and start over, so that you never are a hundred percent sure what cards um, are still available to you. So that would take some of that, um, maybe some of that uh, predetermined nature of it, some of that card counting out of the equation, and make it a little more random, while still maintaining the aspect of keeping a better spread of values throughout your your roles. So I think that's a kind of a neat feature of the game or a feature of this accessory. Uh, I would also like to mention that the game or the accessory comes with this, these 12 cards um, which go to something called Dominions. It's like a little mini game. The deck didn't come with rules for how to play with these cards, but I understand that you can find the rules on Fundamental Games' website. So I, to me, that's I have no particular interest in this, but it is worth noting that the deck does come with like a little mini game as well. So that's my thoughts on uh, the deck of dice. I think that uh, they have some interesting usefulness, some interesting functionality. It, whether or not this seems like an accessory that you would use is is purely up to your own preferences. I, I think it'd be hard for me to speak to whether this is a good a good buy for you because I just explained how it works and if that sounds interesting to you then then it's good but if that might sound terrible to you in which case by all means stay away from it. Um, but I think it's a pretty neat little uh, accessory. If there was one thing to improve about it specifically without really changing the nature of it I, I think it would have been nice if they had alternated how they went through the values of each die. So like as I was showing you, the one of the cards has ones on all the dice, and then the next card has twos on all the dice, and so forth. And what that will create, uh, once you get a, you know, a good ways into the deck, you're hitting cards that um, have all kinds of values across because the, the values start wrapping around for the smaller dice. But it will mean that there's going to be cards in here where it, like every value on the on the dice is in the same general range. So I think they could have alternated and, and maybe had like the fours start counting from one and go up to four and then wrap around while the sixes maybe start from six and count down and then wrap around and then the eights count up and wrap around and so forth. It would have made the values on each card a little more varied. I don't know that that's really necessary or that it would statistically change the way that it works at all. It just seems a little odd sometimes when you draw a card and it's like all fours across the board. Every value on that card is a four. It wouldn't matter which die you were drawing for. So I would have done that a little bit different, but it's just a minor thing. And like I say, statistically, I don't know if it would actually change the way the cards work at all. Just uh, something that seems a little odd to me. But anyhow, that's the that's the uh, deck of dice from Fundamental Games. I backed this on Kickstarter. That's how I got a hold of it. But I think you can buy it directly from the company on their website. So I'll put a link to their website in the description of this video. In any case, my name is Nathan. You've been watching Nice at Dice. Thank you so much for watching, and you enjoy the rest of your day.